Hey guys, in addition to data binding support already added in NGUI 3.5.6, I've also added support for parameters on delegates. And this actually includes your custom delegates as well. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. I'm going to drag in the simple button control into the scene. And on it, of course, there is the on click function right here. I'm also going to attach a very simple script this script to uh, just a random game object I've added to the scene using Alt Shift N. So here I have the new script and I have this button that I want to trigger a function on the game object. So be as before I just drag in the game object into the on click field and I can specify this method custom click. Now before this is how it used to work and it still does of course for backwards compatibility purposes and now if i of course click play and click on a button the debug log will show up so as you may or may not know previously you were limited by having exactly this function type it had to be of void and it had to have no parameters well, that's not the case anymore. Let me just add a parameter. So for example, if I wanted to specify a game object and instead of that, I'm going to change it to be like that. So I'll click and some game object gets passed and I'm just printing the game object's name. Tab back to Unity, let it compile. And you will notice that the argument is now showing up in the inspector. So now I can drag and drop to be, or to make it be whatever I want. So for example, if I wanted to drag a label here instead, I can do just that. Now, this drop down right here lets you specify different properties that are of the valid type, the type being game object, because that's what the function expects. Or you can just leave it as the default value, which is just the game object itself. Anyhow, so now I hit play, hover over, but over a button, click it, and there we go. Clicked on the label. Notice how the label game object actually got passed to the function, and it actually uses it as an argument. Well, let's expand it a little bit more. Let's add a vector 3 as a parameter. Say for example a position, right? And I'm gonna say at position of POS. Tab back to Unity. The new argument will now show up. As before, I just drag in the label for the first parameter and something else for the second one. So for example, label again and I will specify an appropriate function here. So as you notice all of these types are actually a vector 3 and I can choose any of them. I'm just gonna choose to transform that position. Now if I hit play and click on a button you will notice that I clicked on a label at position 000. Let's move the label. Click it again. Position gets updated and it's sent automatically. Of course you are not limited to using Unity's components. Here for example I wrote a custom uh, property that just returns some string value and I changed the custom click function to accept a string just to see if it works. And all I'm doing inside is just I'm printing the value. So now I tap back to Unity, drag and drop a game object into the notify field and choose the custom click. Of course, for the first parameter, I drag in the object again, which has the test script on it, and I'm specifying the test me property that I just wrote. Now, if I hit play and click on a button, you will notice that it works exactly as you would expect. Let's try something else. Here, I've modified the test script to simply take a texture 2D as the parameter 
and then a get component of UI texture and just change its texture to the past value. So now, of course, I cannot do it on the game object anymore because it doesn't have a UI texture. But I just use the Alt Shift T hotkey to drop in a texture into the scene. Now I can attach the test script to it again and of course use it with my button. So here when I click on a button I want it to notify the texture and change its texture to something else. So let's see which textures do I have here. Eh, burlap is fine. So here I'm passing the burlap texture as the argument to this function on click. Let's see what happens when I actually click on the button. Click and the texture gets assigned. Simple, right? Well, let's try something else again. Here I attach the test script, which I modified to simply set the widget's alpha to the past floating point value. And what I want to do is have this slider automatically control the alpha of the sprite. Now to do this, in on value change, I just drag in the label and notify section, choose the set alpha method from my script, and for the argument itself, I just pass in the slider as the argument and choose the value right here, slider value which is also a floating point value. So now if I hit play, you'll notice that when I drag the slider, the alpha gets updated automatically. Well, that's about it. I'll let you guys play with this when you get your hands on the update. Thanks for watching.